everyone guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at Pathoma, which is by far the best pathology resource I've come across. We're going to be looking at why I think it's the best pathology resource. Number two, we're going to be talking about how I actually use Pathoma and how I can integrate it with apps like Notion. And most importantly, we're going to end off talking about how to integrate Pathoma and Anki, so stick around for that. First thing that I want to talk about is why I think Pathoma is the best pathology resource out there. And that really comes from the man himself, Dr. Satar, who's made these videos. Dr. Satar has this amazing gift, right? And, and he talks about him understanding this gift when he was in Pakistan and he was a student himself. He would see this teacher come in and he would just teach. He wouldn't have any notes and he would be extremely enthusiastic to a class of like five people and he would teach as if he was giving a lecture to thousands. And Dr. Satar really took that on and that's something he tried to implement in the Pathoma videos. And it really comes across. When he's teaching it, he makes sure that he's to the point. He breaks down complex concepts to the most fundamental logics, which makes these concepts stick in your brain. Now, our brains don't really want to remember random facts, but when Dr. Satar gives some sort of logic to it, suddenly it sticks. Now let's look at an example. The other day I was watching a video on um, chronic rheumatic heart disease and two of the symptoms were angina and syncope. Now instead of Dr. Satar just telling me that okay these are the two, these are two of the symptoms of chronic rheumatic heart disease, instead he gave me this beautiful logic that okay the blood is having a lot of trouble to pass through the stenotic valves and suddenly the myocardium has less perfusion so there's angina and there's less blood going to your brain so you get syncope. Now, I'm never going to forget that because that makes sense to my brain logically and that makes all the difference. Now, in normally in, in the university lectures, what I found is they would usually give us, you know, six or seven symptoms and maybe the lecture will go through, you know, the top two symptoms and the rest is really up to you to figure out if you even want to why that's happening. And there's a chance you're just going to forget it later on. Another reason why Performa is an extremely good resource is how short the videos are. Now, I know how time constrained we are. The Pathoma videos are literally from 7 minutes to maybe 25 minutes max if the concept is really, really complex. So it's really not going to take you a lot of time. Say you're starting the cardiovascular block, you could just smash out the Pathoma videos in two days and suddenly when you go into these lectures, you already have a really good grasp of all the pathologies and you can navigate yourself through the lectures so, so, so much better. So Pathoma, the content is amazing, it doesn't take up a lot of time, so it's just basically a no-brainer. You should be, you, that should be the number one pathology resource you should be looking at. Pathoma is a video lecture series, and when I'm, when I'm watching these videos, the number one thing I do is annotate the book that comes with it, the Fundamentals of Pathology book. Now, the only thing I annotate is things that I know that I won't remember, or things that are not there in the bullet points. So these are the only two things that I annotate. Essentially, there's really no need for you to annotate a lot. Just sit there and listen and just consume as much as possible from this man, because he's amazing. The, the other thing I do is once I've finished watching the videos and I've, I've annotated my book, the next thing I do is go through the, these annotations after I finish the chapter. Now, while I'm going through my annotations in this chapter, what I do is I, I pop open Notion, and if there's a concept that I know there's a high chance I'll forget, or a concept that was really, really hard, I would just use the toggle function in Notion to write a question for myself and put the answer there as my notes. Now, there's obviously a lot of research showing that the best way to learn is active recall. I can make a whole video on that. But essentially, that's the whole logic behind it. You just write questions for yourself on Notion, use the toggle function and go, go over it maybe once a day or once every two days. Space it out. Space repetition, you've heard about it. That's the best way to retain these random information that we learn. Talking about spaced repetition brings us to our third point and how can you talk about spaced repetition without talking about Anki. Now, Anki and Pathoma can be integrated because this amazing person on Reddit called Zanki and this other amazing person on Reddit called Anking have made you this deck that you once you've watched the Pathoma videos, you can just start doing flashcards and you don't have to write a single flashcard for yourself. Now, instead of me just sitting here and telling you how that's done, let's go and I'll show you exactly how, that, how you can do that and where to download this amazing deck from for you to remember anything you learned from Pathoma. Hey guys, so I'm at my desk now. Let's have a look at how I integrate Pathoma with Anki and how you can do that too. So, we're just gonna go up on Google and you just have to write Reddit um, Zanki by Anki. 
And yep, so you click the first link. So King of All Step 1, Anki Dex, Medical School, Anki Reddit. Um, basically, there's this guy named Zanki who, when he was sitting his USMLE exams, he went through all these different resources and made all these flashcards. And then this other guy called Anking on Reddit came around and tagged all the cards according to which videos they relate to, which is amazing. So what you essentially have to do is there's a little bit of um, uh, sort of FAQ here for you, for yourself. And you just have to, where is it? Yeah, you just have to come here down to this comment by Pineapples9. And here it is. So you just have to click here and then it'll download the entire deck, which is, I think is around 2.8 gigabytes because it has all the pictures and everything. So you just have to press download and then it'll download. Now, let me show you what it looks like once you have downloaded it. So you just have to jump on Anki. Um, so I've been using this all of first semester and it's been amazing. I've been retaining more information than I've ever have. So if you're using Performa, Boards and Beyond, First Aid, whichever ones you do, just get this deck, all the cards are tagged, and I'll show you how you can choose only the cards that relate to the things you've done. Okay, so once you've once you've opened Anki, you just have to go to Browse. Um, damn, it's been a while because I've been on holiday. I haven't been doing the Anki, so oh, I gotta get onto that again. This is the deck you would have downloaded. Now, you don't really have to do anything here. The only thing you have to do is go onto Browse. Once you go onto Browse, you have to scroll down to the bottom left here where it says Anking. And the first thing you have to do is control A and suspend all the cards. Um, there is actually a really good tutorial by Anking himself on YouTube. Um, I might make one as well on how to do it. But essentially, once you've suspended all the cards, the main part I want to talk about today is how to find the Petoma video. So you just have to click this little toggle here. And then once you've done it, you can see that there's the, the third toggle says hashtag Petoma. Now, when you untoggle that, you can see it has literally every single chapter. So the other day, I did the, the cardio, the whole of the cardio chapter. So what I would do is, is go to cardio, untoggle this. So 8.1 to 8.7, I've basically done all of them. Um, so for example, when I, when I had first done 8.1, what I would do is I would click 8.1, click at any one of the cards, press Control A, Control A, it'll it'll select all the cards from 8.1 and you have to right click and click toggle suspend. And now all the cards from this chapter have been activated. And if when I do my cards today or tomorrow, these cards will be tested to make sure what I've learned in this Pothoma video stay fresh. Um, so these are the cards you can see down the bottom, for example, CKMB levels rise and there'll be a blank here, hours after an MI and peak at another blank hours and Anki will test you. Um, in a spaced repetitive manner, which is brilliant. So this is the way you can use Pathoma and Anki integrated. So you don't really have to write any of these cards. These are already written. You just have to activate it and then you just do your Anki cards. So it's really the most efficient study study um, plan in, in my opinion. You don't really have to write any notes um, if you don't feel like it. So you can just use this flashcard. It's, so this is how you can use both Anki and Pathoma together. So I will link this Reddit page to um, in, in the description so you can just click on the link and download this Anki and you can start. Hey guys, that is it for me. I hope you find that helpful and I've convinced you that Pathoma is the best resource for you to start learning pathology. Pathoma, the link will be in the description. You can go and make a free account today um, and try it out. Um, Dr. Satar is amazing and I would highly recommend that if you do use it, do support him and um, tell your mates about it as well because it's just going to help everyone. This video was part of a larger video series on the best medical school resources. I'll be making a bunch more reviewing all these other resources that I've come across or you guys have recommended. So make sure to like and subscribe if that is something you would like to see. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and see you guys on the next one.